Hey guys, what's up? This is Bosquito Master here with a new video. And today this is going to be a tutorial, as you can see, on how to uh, install texture packs, HD and non HD. I'll also be showing you how to like patch the HD ones and everything. So I, I know my all this stuff is very messy. I download a lot of stuff and just leave it on the desktop. Yeah, it's probably not a great thing to do. But the two texture packs that I'll be using for the sake of this video is the uh, non-HD OCD pack by Disco, which is 16-bit. And then the John Smith pack. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, what you need to do, the first, um, we're going to do... I always do this. First, we're gonna do a uh, non-HD. So what you need to do is download it. As you can see, it, yeah, it, it, ignore all that. Like you can go on PlanetMinecraft.com, texture packs. And there's all tons of texture packs. Like you got the most popular. And it's right there. And that's our C pack. There's just many, many texture packs you need to do. Just go through there and find ones that you like. There are thousands and thousands of them. But, um, so yeah, just download that, save it to your desktop, and make sure you have WinRAR first, too. That's pretty important. And then I'm gonna open up Minecraft. Let me log in real quick. And I see I have a texture pack on right now, but that's what it usually looks like. Open up texture packs. And then I have all these in. It was just ignore those. You get one to press the open texture pack folder. And just very, very simply drag the OCD pack or whatever texture pack, uh, 16 bit or 8 bit texture pack that you have. Just simply drag it right into that file and it should come up like this and as you can see it's right here it's a pretty nice experience really simple and a lot of guys like Seth Blaine and uh, Effie Disco, Effie Disco created it, but guys like Seth Lane, uh, use it. Okay, so now for the little bit harder part. Well, if you want to, I can see, download the texture packs like 256 by 256. Sorry, you can see how many texture packs there are. But, um, 256 by 256. Now, that, I wouldn't recommend something that big unless you're here is just amazing, which mine is not, as you can tell from the low FPS in my videos. But, um, yeah, so anything above 16 bit, Minecraft cannot run on its own. So you need help of external mods. And in this video, I'll be going over one of those mods, which is Optifine. Now, if you don't want to download Optifine for whatever reason, which I recommend that you do, um, then uh, you do MC Patcher. But in my next video, I'll show you how to install mods and MC Patcher. So don't worry about that. It'll be coming out really shortly after this video. So let's say you get done. John Smith is somewhere on here. I'll just let you see it. John, it's probably one of the first ones. Why not? Okay, right here. So, John Smith texture pack right here. C4 and 43 diamonds. It's and John. Oh. Uh, I'll help you out here, give you an extra diamond. But, um, I can see it's pretty cool too. So, 
you go download it just like that but now you're kind of stuck because if you just drag into your texture pack file which I can't see the textures are completely messed up like the blocks with fire actually, I want, oops I want to see if I could recreate that real quick I don't know if I can oops what's that Anyway, uh, yeah, like, the fires says use the patch or noob, and it's just everything is all broken, messed up. Like, there's little block thing. There's all sorts of crap. So what you need to do is you need to download the Optifine mod. Now, this mod, it is a great mod. It increases your FPS quite a bit. I'll just put that. Increases your FPS quite a bit, and as you can see, it gives you more options like usually it'll start right here and on that you can there's like a slider thing all the way up to extreme which is like super lago intense your computer will probably explode to like smooth lighting actually has a slider bar uh, there's all these cool stuff um, but like quality all sorts of really cool stuff that best to use connect testers textures and if you see that it's like one soft is glass really good but um what it does it just increases your FPS gives you a lot extra sorts of a lot extra just features but one of the features in it it comes with a patcher now after you want to do it as you can see like what instead of just having particles you have all these things like water animated, fire animated, all of these. And I see off like a lot of these are pretty uh, computer intense. But what you need to do once you download Optifine, which just watch my next video, texture packs, open texture pack folder, and just like you did the OC pack, drag the John Smith pack right in right there as you can see done now I'll just show you real quick what it does if you don't use the patcher so went and steal I love this texture back by the way so oops that's what fire looks like texture pack pretty cool but let's say that you don't have Optifine then stuff like that look more like that it's not moving or even uh, where is it maybe this no it's one of these settings that here. Okay, no, but anyway, as you can see, it'll be like red, like line, line type things, and it says use the patcher new. We'll just see one more time. Yeah, and like portals will be all weird looking uh, I like to turn on make portals on lava dynamic if I can dynamic if I can and all of that and once you have out to find in you're good you're able to download any texture pack whether it be some as simple as simple pack or as intense as LB photo realism. This is more than 28 LB photo realism. So I hope you like the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content. And as always, have a good day.